Hey guys, what do you think? I thought I'd just show you, show you an update on it. Um, it's coming together. I know it's still in the house, but uh, it's been kind of fun working on it inside, and it's clean anyway. So, but um, yeah, I'm real happy with it so far. The uh, you know the paint, paint came out really nice. I got the tires on. Um, yeah, I put them on myself. My dad helped me, and uh, I uh, just got a couple tire irons, and we just put them on like a bicycle tire, basically. Um, I watched a couple videos online, and uh, you know, just soaked up the bead really good with dish detergent. And I think because the rims are painted, they just slipped right on. It really wasn't wasn't hard at all. Um, I mean, it was a little hard, and you definitely needed help, but. Um, but yeah, I got got all four of them on, so I, I did it. But um, I put them on from the back, you know, so that if I did chip them, the rims, I was a little worried about that. You know, you wouldn't see it, but I I tell you, the paint's pretty tough. Um, you know, I hardly I hardly chipped it at all. You know, maybe a little bit. I had to just touch it up, but but hardly at all, man. That stuff is pretty pretty tough paint. But um, I got the wheel weights on it. And I put a uh, stainless steel hardware here. And I got some rubber and I put some rubber there so that they wouldn't, you know, touch the rim and scratch it all up. So I just just took some rubber and I put it around each each one. Just you know, stuck it in there. So uh anyway. And uh got my foot pegs on. I tell you I, I you I got that epoxy primer and I got black. And uh, that worked out really well because the parts that I didn't want to, I wanted to leave black, I just didn't paint. And uh, I just, you know, gave an extra coat of primer. And so I, I did those. And I, I got the steering wheel painted. And there's the, uh, the starter switch. And then over there is the voltage regulator. And then the voltage regulator, I, um, I clear coated the bottom and just painted the top. So I mean, that looks like brand new. It came out really good. Let me show you that. So I just clear coated the bottom. You know, painted the top. It's, it's like brand new. Restored uh, voltage regulator. But, um, and then here's the uh, steering column. That came out really good. I'm happy with that. And real shiny. No runs. Um, can't see the bodywork that I did. So, um, yeah, I'm real happy with that too. I'm just going to give that some time to dry. I'm not going to. I'm not going to put that on until that paint's good and hard. But, um, yeah. That's all I have really left to put on. And then I'll have to work on the engine. That'll be next, but I'll probably do it outside. But, um, let's see what else. I got a seat. I got the seat from Tractor Supply. I didn't see much point in buying an old seat and restoring it. So I just got one of those new seats. Um, I think they're pretty nice, and I think it looks good. You know, I like that it has the holes for water in it, and it's got the you know, soft pat, um, padding on it. So I think it came out nice. And I got a decal set there. Um, I'm really impressed with those. Um, basically, this I had them online. I didn't know what I was, you know, going to get. I didn't really know what to expect, and uh, they're really nice. They're real decals. They're not stickers. You actually you spray the area that you're going to apply the decal on with water and then you soak the decal and you get it wet and then you put it on and then you peel the paper back and um, you know it's you know and then you kind of squeegee out the water and so it's it's kind of neat it's kind of like doing a model <laughs> you know that's kind of what I was thinking when I when I was putting it on but um it's hard to believe you can even get decals you know like that for you know for this but you know that's really what makes it makes it look finished is those little you know finishing touches like that that really make it nice but um so anyway um here I can show you the decals I got in case you're interested let's see here's the decals um they're real decals too. Like I was saying, you put them on with water, and they have paper on the back. And what you do, 
So you peel the paper, you peel the paper off the back, and then you put them on, and then you get them wet, you know, and then you peel the paper off the front, and then you kind of squeegee the water off from underneath it. So, um, yeah, they're nice. I got the one for this for the uh, steering column, the dashboard, and then uh, this is uh, for the air filter, and I even got a little warning one. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is the company that, that I got them from. If anybody's interested, um, they got a whole bunch of different tractors that they make them for. Um, I don't know if yours is in here, but yeah, it might be worth you know taking a look. You know, you just go online, you know, and uh, see what they have. But so anyway, um, well, that's about it. I just thought I'd show you show you how it looks. I'm real happy with it. You know, it's like a it's like a brand new antique uh, open day. So, uh, all right. I hope you like it. Uh, good luck with your projects. Thanks.